So how should glasses fit? It has been a long time since we've really dove into the intricacies of how these things, a pair of glasses, should be sitting on your face. The what, the why, the how, all of that stuff. So today that is what we're going to dive into. We're going to talk about here, here, back here, all of the little intricacies of how the glasses should fit on your face and how they should feel to stay there. So. Let's take a look at that. First of all, this is the part where I bound around the office and blabber random things about why you need to like and subscribe to the channel. But anyways, if you want to support the channel, if you like these videos, that we'll get into the technical stuff and a little bit of glasses reviews on occasion. Definitely subscribe and ring the bell so you can stay up to date on the latest and the newest and all of the cool stuff like that. Now let's dive into what you're actually here for and talk about the fit of glasses and why that matters and why that guy over there is so weird. <laughs> So, now I needed two hands and a little bit different angle, but I think I've got this figured out. Hopefully this doesn't mess with the mic too much, because I forgot my other one. And my apologies if the audio is... Yeah, absolute crap. So, anyways, the actual fit of glasses, what we're going to talk about. I know it's been an entire minute and we haven't even gotten there yet. I'm so sorry. Okay, anyways, I am done being idiotic. So with masks, and this has actually been a really big issue, it changes the way a pair of glasses fits. Now, I don't know how long this is going to continue to be an issue. Who really does anymore, right? It's, you know, maybe next year, maybe not. I don't know. We've got some vaccines out there. That's not what I'm here for, nor do I care. Okay, well, I care. Man. <sighs> this is a bad day for this, isn't it? Okay. Mask, glasses, nose, fit, it changes. You see that, right? We've got the mask here. You can see it brings the glasses up a little bit, particularly with progressive lenses. This is problematic. Now, especially assuming you were fit, say, before mask wear was really a thing, you're dropping, look here, right about a millimeter and a half to two millimeters. Now, assuming you have an absolutely perfect fit to begin with, that's not gonna matter. If it was off already a millimeter or two, now you've got some problems, and especially if you've got a stronger prescription, even that first millimeter is not so great, but hopefully that's not part of the problem. So, just one thing to keep in mind there. So definitely, as you're shopping for glasses, be wary of what a mask can do to the fit. You can see very easily how much that drops down, even just looking at the brow line. But what you do want for sure is a pair of glasses, whether you have your mask on or not, that does follow the shape of your nose well. Now, whether you go with, say, a metal frame with nose pads, of course, you can adjust that and get it right, but you still don't want it excessively wide or excessively narrow where the nose is. It helps the frame balance a little bit more, a little bit better, more, more, better, more, whatever, anyways. Now, the overall width of it, of course, I have mentioned in other videos, and we'll link up a card here about what size of glasses you should get, because that is its own very deep, intricate topic that I could talk about for days and still keep talking about it. But I don't think anybody wants that. Do you? Well, let me know if you do. We'll do that, okay? What is it, like a thousand likes or something? I don't know. Anyway. So the overall width, you do want to be roughly in relation to the widest point on your face. Me, that is these wide cheeks here, so it lines up nicely with the edge of this frame. Now, obviously, I'm wearing my neon green frame, so it's easier to see all these things. Dark frames can trick you, so do be wary of that as you're looking for just that right frame. Especially if you like darker colors, it can blend in more with your hair or really mask any excess width. Now, I know big glasses, oversized glasses are definitely a trend, so don't let this stop you from going too wide. If you're going that route, I'll throw a card up here. Check out that video, because we did talk about how to do oversized in the right way. There is absolutely a right and a wrong way to go oversized or undersized. We have not done undersized. We will get to that another day, maybe. Not today. 
Then the big thing, the length of it. I see this all the time. The length is critical. You can do whatever you want here. You know, style choices matter. You can, like I said, go way oversized or way undersized. Perfect is good. But the length from here to back here absolutely matters. This is critical to a frame fitting and staying on your face. You can make up whatever you want in the nose or the overall width of it. You can make some adjustments to kind of get around that or you can even modify the bridge of the frame itself. As for the temples, we can lengthen them to some degree. Most of them we can definitely shorten if you're skilled enough. It can be done. <laughs> it's not necessarily fun, but it can be done, especially on metal frames. It's very easy to make that tweak. But it is important that where that bend is, is right in line with the back of the ear. Obviously, we can make some adjustments there. You know, say it's a little long or a little short or whatever. You can tweak to get that perfect fit and feel of it. But if it is way short and your glasses are sitting, not necessarily pushed out, but say that bend is here, there's really nothing you can do to make those stay on and feel comfortable. You can do a capo temple conversion or maybe a few other little things to lengthen it out some. Maybe get it close enough but it's never going to fit like a frame that was designed with that extra length to begin with. These in particular, I believe, are 140, 145. This one's not marked because this is my own custom. I don't know. Whatever. Don't ever take your glasses off with one hand like I just did. That's bad. Don't do it. Now, that, as I mentioned, so the problem there is if they're too short and it's like that, it is going to throw the frame off balance. So it's sitting more like this. What happens when the frame is thrown off balance is exactly what you're seeing right now. It is pushing itself forward, it is sliding down, and it just does not want to stay there. It's making the frame more front heavy, which doesn't work. Now the ears are where they're supposed to be, no problem there. If you're having a problem with your glasses constantly slipping down, it's possible that's a cause. Now if it's not an adjustment, is just a little bit off, I have another video that I will link to about that one. You can see this is kind of the Master Collective all coming together finally. As I mentioned, there are a ton of little facets to this fun little thing. Now, all of that comes together and changes again. If you get a frame that has these guys that don't bend down, they go more straight back and actually curve inward like we see on most sport frames. Let's take a look at those little boogers. So what I'm talking about there is this. You can see the temples are more straight back. They curve around. They're going to follow this shape of your head more versus this part. And that's called a skull fit. And that has been around for a very long time. It works very well when the frame is designed right. If the frame is super slick, it does not work. But if you have that grip into the temple, like you see on these, where it's that nice textured surface here, it is more of a rubber than the rest of the frame. This is nylon, and then you move to the rubberized temple tips. And on the nose pad, that is kind of key in making one of these frames fit overall. And you'll see on me here, the width on this one's good. The bridge fit is good, as I mentioned earlier on. You can see it follows overall the form on that nose really well. Now, obviously, if I throw the mask on, it's not as good. You can see it changes that, it lifts it. It's not spreading the pressure out as much, but it works, and we've got to deal with that right now. So, it's there, right? But as you can see, this one, it's really not slipping or moving around much, especially when that bridge is fitting as it really should down on the nose. The overall length here is good, but what's great with these, you can see where that orange piece starts, and that's kind of why I picked this frame. Where that starts is where that bend is going to start going back and following the curvature of the head. So those are actually, you can see it when it's off, it actually is pushing back in here. The great thing with this one, super easy to adjust. This is soft, it's malleable, it's meant to be really formed in place to the back of the head. Now it's not so soft that once you put it on it's going to go out of adjustment 
and if you ever hear me talking about adding more bite to a frame, that's what I'm talking about. So you can see there now, I added too much and it's kind of bowing it out here. So it's not fitting as well as it did before. The thing with these, they're so darn easy to adjust that once it's actually on the head, just a few pushes here and there and boom, perfect. Follows the curvature of the head all the way back. These are not going anywhere. I can jump around like a crazy person. I can do whatever I want. Oh, they might get mad at me if I do that here too much. So let's stop on that note. But that's what I've got. So this little bit different fit, a little bit different choices to make, but it definitely works. Now, especially for people with a larger head, that is a great way to go about it. So all of that said, be careful in choosing your next pair of glasses, whether it is you, whether it is the optician, whoever is picking your next pair of glasses should keep all of these little details in mind. It sounds simple, maybe it sounds complex, it's really not. It's all pretty uh, natural, it's physics, it's basic. It's simple to understand, you want it to balance, and fit, and hold on and not jump all over the place. That's why we do what we do. So, all that said, if this video helped, definitely like, subscribe, follow along. Let me know in the comments if this video has helped you in some way. I hope it has, because that's the point in doing this. It's fun, I enjoy it. You guys get something out of it, apparently. A thousand of you, at least, right? So, yeah, thanks for that, by the way. Anyhow, I will catch you guys next time. That's all I've got for today.